smile. Put a smile on your face right now. You made it to another day. We all did. It's your boy Cardo back at it again with another video. Slice and dice gang. Get the swords out. Y'all know how we get down. Every single video, we be slicing. We be dicing. We be slicing. We be dicing. With these scriptures. Backing points up. With who? With our heavenly father's truth. We got to. Now, this is the best gang on YouTube. We slice and dice game. We always giving that light, positive energy, good vibes, showing love. That's what we do over here. So go ahead and smash the like button. Subscribe. You won't be disappointed. Right? I'm trying to tell you. It's lit over here. Let's do something else right now. We do this every day. Can't forget. Can y'all help me out, please? Because uh, he did this for us all when he didn't have to. Oh, but he did. Let's. Thank the most high. That's how all mighty heavenly father. For what though? For allowing us to be here. Today, you feel me? Yes, sir, indeed. Let's be thankful, everybody. Now, while y'all getting y'all swords ready, you know, getting them sharp for the video, because y'all know how we're going to be getting down. We're going to be slicing and dicing. Let me talk to the possible new subscribers. Right? You may be tuning in for the first time. First time to Cardo TV. If you subscribe, it's only right. I'll let you know what you in for. That's only fair. I don't want to waste nobody's time. So just take a, take a second to listen now. Hear, hear me out real quick. If you make that decision, I mean, you also got to get yourself a sword too. Can't be out here lacking. You can't join Slice and Dice Gang and you ain't got no sword. Come on, you got to be slicing and dicing with us out here on these streets. Also, you ready to repent? Mm-hmm. You, you ready to make it a lifestyle? Obeying the most high God Because he gave us law, statutes, and commandments It's only one God though When I say the most high God When I say our almighty heavenly father I'm only talking about one It's only one true God out there That's the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob That's the same true God Of the Messiah Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, that's the big homie. That's the plug, the everlasting life. That's the king of all kings. Shout out to JC. Also, you want that spiritual growth, man. You want that spiritual growth. It ain't nothing else like that spiritual growth. It does wonders for your life. Please believe me. Faith. That word called faith. You want that to stay strong. Ten toes strong. Standing on business strong All the way into the end of the road You know what I'm saying? Basically, for real, for real You ready to continue using your gifts and talents The ones God gave you before he brought you here Fulfilling your true purpose Serving people Being that light You heard all of the things that I just said Come on, man If you ready for that, stop playing games And come on over here and join Slice and dice gang bars welcome to cardo tv so glad that everybody could make it today now today y'all man we're gonna be talking about not being fooled not being manipulated by the people out here you know, we call these people false prophets, false teachers. Those people who are doing things, not really trying to help you, but they are trying to confuse you. They trying to take money from you. It's all for their gain, right? The times that we are in y'all, it's very serious because 
It's a lot of evil. It's a lot of people being used by Satan to lead people astray in these days. You're probably like, why? Well, first and foremost, it even tells us in scripture that there will be many false prophets coming out to mislead the people. Satan is using people to do this so that eventually he can have some company going down to hell. Yes, sir. Believe it or not, y'all, that's why it is important for you to continuously pray, meditate in your word. I'm talking meditating it, really getting into that book every day, craving it. Because it's like, if you don't, you're not going to be able to discern the truth from false teachings. You're not going to be able to discern the good from evil. And it is necessary in these days, right? This video is not to put fear into any of you. That's not what we're doing today. This is to bring awareness, you know, and to just really talk about the importance of letting the Holy Spirit guide you and you putting in the effort, you yourself, meditating in your word, praying without ceasing, doing things that you need to do so that you can be on it and not be led astray and also help other people come to this light who are also in darkness, right? A few more other things I wanna say before we really get into the video, man. Some of y'all probably going to church. You may be going every Sunday. I got to say this, you can't just go to church on Sunday and that's it, you have to do more. You have to do these things every single day, y'all. First and foremost, it's like the Messiah, Jesus Christ, right? He wasn't telling people to go to church. I don't go to church and I'm, and I'm not saying like if you do I'm not saying it's the worst thing but it's like he did not tell us to go to church the Messiah was explaining that we are the church the believers in Christ we are the church the Messiah didn't have no church he had disciples he had disciples for sure and speaking of the disciples let me say this too is coming to mind all the disciples were what what did all the disciples have in common they were all men jesus did that for a reason why i know the ladies hate hearing this but it's the truth scriptures talks about it man ain't no woman supposed to be preaching nope it's a man that's supposed to preach it is a man that is supposed to lead all the disciples were men but even though you got these preachers in the churches. They're not really trying to tell people that they uh, need to get out of sin. They only talking good. The good, sweet messages, man. That's it. Y'all, when you go to church, or if you really reading your word, meditating in your word, or if you really listen to somebody, listening to somebody, speaking this truth, operating with that Holy Spirit, you're supposed to be feeling convicted. Like if you are in sin, you're supposed to be feeling convicted. You're not supposed to just be feeling like, you know what I'm saying? You're not doing nothing wrong. You're not supposed to be all comfortable. This truth don't give you, uh, don't make you feel comfortable, especially if you in sin. But they're not talking about it in these churches. They only want to talk good so you can keep coming back and get what? That bread. Church is a business. They want that money. Also on social media is going on too. Oh yeah, the devil, he working. He working in the churches and he really working on social media. It's a lot of people on social media coming out these days. It's a famous talking point right now going on. A lot of people hopping on board, leading people astray. The chosen ones. Many people are called fewer chosen. Many people are called fewer chosen. The chosen few were called by the most high to preach the gospels back to the women's standpoint so women you're not chosen it's a lot of women talking about how they are chosen talking to their audience making it seem like they are also chosen no many people are called fewer chosen they only saying things to get you to feel like you are part of something right no 
That's not how it is. Let me give you an example, man. This is how to this is how to talk a point B for the most part. They make it sound so sweet. They make it sound so good, just like what the devil do. He uses people as wolves in sheep's clothing, y'all. This is all in scripture. This is how they be talking. What's going on, my chosen ones? Yes. Yes. I know y'all have been through a lot of things. You've been getting gang stalked. You've been treated badly by your family and your friends. Pause. Everybody has been treated badly by family or friends at some point. That don't make you chosen. That happens to a lot of people. That don't mean you chosen. Let's keep going. Chosen ones. They have always been gossiping about you. They've been gossiping about us. Talking about us behind our backs. Pause. Everybody has been gossiped about before in their lives. That does not make you chosen. That does not make you chosen if people are talking about you behind your back. Let's continue. Chosen ones. You have to understand that we are in Satan's kingdom. We are the light. The devil. He has his demons coming after us. Yes, the demons are all over trying to take out the chosen ones because we are a threat to his kingdom. Pause. Ain't no demons after you. No, there are no demons around. That's just scaring people, making people paranoid. The chosen one's standpoint has turned into a false religion. And people are using that because they already know that people are coming in, trying to hear those messages, making it feel like they are part of something so they can keep giving them that money. It's all for the money, y'all. Just like with the church. All the sweet messages keep coming back. Put that money in that collection plate. Oh, yeah. That's why you have to study thy word to show thyself approved for yourself. You have to get in a relationship with God for yourself. You have to ask for the Holy Spirit and operate with the Holy Spirit for yourself. You have to do it, y'all. You can't count on a preacher. You can't count on nobody else to do that for you. Of course, in the scripture, it talks about how iron sharpens iron. So yes, you can receive godly wisdom from those who are really in this truth, operating with the Holy Spirit, bringing back scriptures. What about that? The people who talking about chosen ones this, chosen ones that, are they going to scripture? Anybody who you listening to who say they, you know what I'm saying, trying to help you, are they bringing any scriptures out? Are they spreading God's truth at all? No, no. It's false, man. It's manipulation. That's what it is, y'all. And y'all got to understand and y'all got to stop being misled by these people on social media, in church. You got to do these things for yourselves. It's important. The days is getting evil, man. The days is getting darker. But it's like if you're following Christ, man, you ain't got nothing to worry about. If you're not in sin, you don't have nothing to worry about. You have to live this lifestyle of repentance, y'all. Obeying the most high God's commandments. Doing these things for yourself, putting in the effort for yourself. Right? Come on, y'all, man. That's the only way that you're going to be able to discern. Have that discernment. Discernment is important in these days, man. Got to have discernment. You got to be in the scriptures for yourself so that when you uh listen in to certain people, you watching certain content, you won't be fooled. It's a lot of people just going with the flow, just believing anything they hear because they're not in this truth. It's important, y'all. And today, y'all, we really going to talk about it, man. Things that we can do. Things we need to stay away from just so that we can be on it in these days. We ain't got time for it, man. All right. So the first one I want to talk about is trusting in the Holy Spirit's guidance. The Holy Spirit, y'all, it is our guider who will lead us into all truth. That's why God gave us this Holy Spirit to operate with, not only just to stay out of the flesh. Right. Because when that Holy Spirit is overflowing, you chase the things of the spirit, not the flesh. That's why you fast, too. You fast. You staying away from the flesh. You helping that Holy Spirit increase as well. But also, like I said, the Holy Spirit is guiding us. y'all. It protects us. It gives us power to understand what this truth is, right? Because believe it or not, y'all, you keep being led astray, you keep just going with anything, feeling like you're not doing anything wrong. Come on, man, that ain't gonna do you, that's not gonna do you no good. Let me let me throw a scripture out. 
It tell us in John. How be it when he, the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you into all truth for he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear that shall he speak and he will shew you things to come. It made it all clear in that scripture right there. You see what the Holy Spirit does. Come on, y'all ask for the Holy Spirit. Ask for it. Start there. Some of y'all may not even know, man, that you can just ask for it. The Most High God, he looks at your heart. When he really see that you're trying to receive the Holy Spirit, he's going to give it to you. But you got to put forth the effort. You got free will and faith is dead without works. All right? So come on, you're asking for the Holy Spirit. Now you want to continue to take a step further and feed it by, of course, reading this word. Meditate in the word every day, y'all. We got 24 hours in a day. It ain't no excuses. There's no excuses. You don't have a Bible? Hey, you got your phone, right? You can download apps. They have many Bible apps out there. I advise you to get the King James Version. The King James Version, man. Come on, y'all. Get in these scriptures. Feed this Holy Spirit. But a lot of people, y'all, not trying to do that. That's why it's a lot of people being led astray and it's a lot of people being used by Satan to lead people astray. In the scriptures also, this is a narrow gate. Narrow is the gate, y'all. It's a lot of people that ain't gonna be on this path. Only few people find this path, man. This is narrow. So that's why it's important, y'all. Most people not doing this. Most people not trying to do things through Christ. And most people is not trying to follow and obey the most high God. So they picking a side. What side do you want to be on? What side do you want to be on? God woke you up again, gave you another chance to do things, to show your effort on what side you want to be on. Because y'all, in this life, y'all, the things that we do, that's going to lead us to where we go. That's either in heaven or hell. And it tells us in scripture also, the only way to the Father in heaven is through Jesus Christ. That's the only way, point blank, period. Right? So come on, y'all. And I said this before, y'all. You got to compare these teachings that you're listening to with the word of God. You have to compare it. If it's not lining up, if it's not adding up, then it's that person who is talking. That's not of God, man. It's not of God. It tells us in scripture. First John. Test everything. No, my bad. Yeah, first John. It tells us, beloved. Believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into this world. I'm telling you, man. Many false prophets have gone out into this world, y'all. And all of these prophets, they just doing these things because they trying to gain something. A lot of the times it comes from that money. That's why, y'all, we do not have that spirit of greed, right? We don't operate with the spirit of greed. We don't operate with the spirit of lust. We don't operate with the spirit of confusion. God didn't give us none of that, but he did give us those fruits of the spirit, which are love, joy, peace, patience, faith. All of those things, we should bear those fruits every day. Every day. That keeps us on the divine plan that God got us on because all of those other spirits, it leads to our destruction. Especially that pride, which is also in scripture, y'all. We, we stay humble on this walk. We got to be humble and then we also have to be content, also in scripture. See, these false prophets out here, they're not content with their life. They money hungry. They just money hungry, man. That's why they keep lying to the people. Misleading the people. Just so they can get this bread. Come on, y'all. Chase after your purpose and God will provide. God is the true main provider. He's going to give you everything you need in your life. I don't know who I'm talking to today. I don't know what your situation is. It may not be looking too good, but you got to understand if you're doing things through Christ, if you have a heart that loves God, that's obedient to his commandments, it tells us in scripture, in Romans, everything works for the good of those who love the Lord according to his purposes, right? So just think about it, man. All of those people, all of those false prophets, all of these people who misleading the people, man, Oh, you best believe they will be getting exposed. What's done in the dark, you best believe it's going to come to light. Also in scripture. Right? And then it's like they on Satan's side, man. This is how the devil works. 
He lies, y'all. He makes things look good. He makes things sound good so that you can indulge in it, right? You can have that pleasure in the moment. But eventually when the devil done with you, when he finished with you, he gonna come collect, bro. He's coming back to collect and you're going down. That's when your life is gonna start to crumble. Satan got you, man. No, we don't have to be deceived like that. We set free. We set free with this truth. That's why we have to understand it and meditate in it, y'all. Y'all really got to understand the urgency and the importance of that. This is not a game, y'all. This is not a game. Not to be afraid, y'all. This is nothing to be afraid of. You don't have nothing to worry about if you're not in sin. You don't have nothing to worry about if you know whose side you want, right? God loves his children. God protects his children. All in scripture, y'all. God will never leave nor forsake his children. It's all in the word. These are God's promises that he never breaks. He never breaks these promises, man. But a lot of people don't even know these promises. A lot of people just going with the flow, going with anything they hear, going with all of the distractions in the world because they're not focused on what's true. They're not focused on their purpose, getting to know who they are, getting closer to God. That's when you receive the blessings, right? Those blessings, that peace, that love, that joy that goes beyond understanding because it's coming from the most high, the creator of this world, the one who knows all. He know your life better than you do. That's why in the scriptures, the first and the best commandment, y'all, love God with your heart, your mind, and your soul. But that is, an, uh, that's, a, that's a decision. He's not forcing you to do that. When you love in something with your heart, your mind, and your soul, that means you doing that. Honestly, wholeheartedly, you craving these things. Not just on Sunday. Every day. That's where that spiritual growth comes in. That's when that discernment starts to raise. That's when that wisdom, you're getting that godly wisdom, man. And the wisdom is the best thing for us, y'all. It makes it so clear. It tells us in scripture that that wisdom is better than fine, pure gold. Ain't nothing like that wisdom, y'all, because your eyes is open. Your eyes are open. You are able to move more wise. You have more understanding on the things that are happening around you, right? And that's what's important. And that's why I'm even making this video, man, because it's like people are not trying to receive that wisdom. People only, they think they're getting wisdom. They think they're getting truth, but they're not. They're not. They're being manipulated by the false prophets, by the false teachers. Next point I want to talk about y'all is prayer. You got to pray without ceasing. You got to stay grounded in prayer every day. Because that means you stand connected to the main source. You stand connected to the most high God who is in control of everything, right? Because every single day, y'all, y'all got to understand our soul is on the line. Every day our soul on the line because Satan, every day, he is going to tempt you. That's what he do. Every day he's going to try to lie to you. That's what he do, man. So it's just like, nah, it's none of that. It is none of that. Let me give you a scripture. It tells us in Colossians. Continue in prayer and watch the same with thanksgiving. It tells us to continue in prayer, y'all. This is every single day, y'all. You need to ask God for certain things that you want. Ask and you shall receive. Knock on the door and that shall be opened unto you. Come on, y'all. It's things that we pray for a lot, right? And then we may not receive it. We become upset and we think that God doesn't hear our prayers. Come on, y'all. God is perfect. God has perfect timing. He know what he's doing. And sometimes, y'all, we be praying, asking for things we're not even ready for. Right? Sometimes we be praying for things that we're not ready for. So God doesn't allow it to happen for your protection. He's protecting you, y'all, because he loves you that much. He loves you so much, man. The only reason why we're still here is because of his grace. God's grace, man. We need to be appreciative. We need to be thankful. That's why it also in that scripture said, be thankful, y'all. When you come, when you praying, y'all, don't just come in prayer when, when your life is not looking too sweet. When things is going wrong, you asking for a lot of things. Come on, y'all. When it comes to prayer, you're supposed to be talking to God, praying to God when you're having a good time. Talking to God when things is going good in your life as well. And then also being thankful. Like when you pray to God, you don't have to always ask for something. Of course, it's okay to, 
But what about just talking to God, just being thankful, just thanking him for the things that he's providing you with, right? Just that time of just being thankful, y'all. And that's going to keep you peaceful. That's going to protect your peace. That's going to keep you positive because you're focusing on things, you know, that are good. You know, the small things too, y'all. Don't forget about the small things we should be thankful for. You know, being able to walk, being able to talk. Right? It tells us in 2 Peter. But there will be false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction. And many shall follow their pernicious ways by reason of whom the way of truth shall be even spo evil spoken of. And through covetousness shall they with those who judgment now of a long time, linger if not, and their damnation slumber if not. That's that discerning. Of, that's all about discerning false teachings, y'all. That's all about you being on guard against these false prophets and these teachings that take you away from the truth. No, we need to be in this truth. We need to be drowning in this truth, y'all. It's very necessary. It is not a game these days, man. I know some of y'all know, man. If y'all be on the YouTube scene, I know some of y'all see these chosen ones talking points. Why you think it's getting so popular? Because people starting to pick up and catch on that as soon as you start putting chosen ones in your title, you start to put chosen ones in all capital letters on your thumbnail. People going to click that and gravitate to it because people think that they are they are they in this community of chosen people going through certain things. No, man, it makes it clear in scripture. It's only a few that's chosen. A lot of people think they chosen ones because they hearing people talk about the things that they going through, but they not putting in no works. How you gonna say you chosen? You're not out here spreading no gospels. You're not out here spreading no gospels. You're not operating with the Holy Spirit. You're not following Christ. How you chosen? But of course, the, the false prophets, they're not gonna be talking like that. They're gonna be real sweet with it manipulative with it let me give you let me let me let me do it again y'all this is what they do hey chosen ones let me just let y'all know man because i know y'all don't receive love y'all don't get a lot of love a lot of people hate y'all i understand see i love you we all should love each other we should all come together as chosen ones you know we go through so much you know it seems like the people are just out to get us because they see and they are jealous of us they hating on us, y'all. You see, they, they trying to make it seem like that you're going through these things and you are a part of something. You are a part of like God's chosen people when that is not the case, bro. That is not the case at all. But they make it sound sweet. And again, it's all going back to that money. They're not trying to really help y'all. They want that money from you. Because think about it, like with my videos, you know, I'll be spreading this truth. I'll be talking about it. That's why I'm always bringing scriptures out. But the thing is, y'all, when it comes to scriptures, I'm going to tell you again, people start to feel convicted. Right? So it's just like, you know, I may not I may not get all of the views. I may not get all of the likes. I don't care about none of that, though. That's not what I'm thinking about. I'm just thinking about really trying to help people spreading this truth so that people can understand what's real out here. Not the sweet messages all the time. It's okay to have a sweet message here and there, but you can't do that all the time. You got to let the people know what's real. Let the people know that they have to repent for their sins, right? But a lot of people don't want to hear that. A lot of people don't want to be honest. A lot of people don't want to turn away from things because they may feel like they're missing out on something. In the scriptures, y'all, it tells us, man, all of these good works you do, you follow Christ, it won't be in vain. You're not missing out on nothing. It will not be in vain. But the devil, he's sneaky. He's sneaky. He using these people, bro. To bring so many people down with him. Because people just going with the flow. People just believe in whatever they hear. Because it sounds good. No, 
The only way change is going to happen is through conviction. Because when you're feeling convicted and then now you do something about it, that's how you can get out of sin. That's how you can start making certain changes and grow because you're being honest with yourself. You're starting to self-reflect. You're starting to see that the things you are doing isn't really glorifying God. Come on, y'all. Tell us the scripture. Draw near to God. He will draw near to you. But what type of effort are you putting in to draw near to God? Again, can't just go to church on Sunday. Every day, you have to crave it. You have to crave it, y'all. And I'm telling you, man, you do it every day. Yeah, of course. You want to operate with the Holy Spirit. You want to read your word. You want to grow closer to God. You're going to have to lose certain things. Certain relationships, right? It's not going to be the same. I know. Because everybody's not trying to do it. But since you are, people are going to look at you differently. It is what it is. You're trying to be obedient to the most high. Certain things you got to put down. You got to stop watching that corn. You can't keep watching the corn, fellas and ladies. You got to put that down. You got to get out of sin. Be honest. Some of y'all listening to me probably don't even know what all the sins are. Right? I'll make that your, I'll make that homework for you, man. Know what the sins are. And then think about yourself. Be honest with yourself. God loves you. If you have been in sin, it's okay. It's okay. He's looking at your heart now. He's seeing if you're going to try to make these changes. If you're going to try to at least ask for help because he's here for us to make these changes, y'all. He's looking at that because he's giving you that opportunity, right? What you going to do with the opportunity? What you going to do with it? Pick a side. Pick a side, man. And then I want to also say this again, too. Because when we grow, y'all, when we get out of sin, we're not perfect. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes we're going to fall short. But in the scriptures, you fall seven times, you get back up. You get back up. Don't beat yourself down. That's what Satan going to do. He's going to put those lies into your head. Make it seem like that God don't love you no more. Make it seem like that you are a failure. Right? It's none of that. God don't look at you as a sinner when you follow Christ. Because you're born new. You're dying to your old self. You want to start making these real changes, having a heart for God every day. And then he's going to bless you. Those blessings that Satan can't give, those blessings that the world can't give, right? It's time to stop being led astray, y'all. It's time to stop, y'all, because it's getting sad out here. It's getting very clear. I'm seeing it more clear, man, every single day, bro. It's a lot of people coming out, bro. Just talking that talk. All for their own gain. And we ain't going for it. We're not going for it. So, y'all, let me go over some of these points again. So, y'all can really understand the importance of them. And it can sink in up here, right? The first point we talked about was you need to trust in the Holy Spirit's guidance. That Holy Spirit, right? Number two, you need to compare the teachings that you're listening to with the word of God. Are they bringing it back to the word? Are they bringing back scripture? Number three, you need to stay grounded in prayer every day, y'all. That's easy. These are these, all these things we talk about, y'all. It's easy, right? It's up to you to do them, though. Number four, you need to be discerning with these teachings, these false prophets. You need to be discerning. You need to have discernment, y'all. Pray for discernment. God will give it to you. All right, y'all. So, yeah, man, just... Meditate on these things, y'all. Talk to me in the comments on how y'all feel about it. Be honest. Share this video. Smash the like button and subscribe to your boy Cardo TV. Yes, sir, indeed. Now, before I go, this is something that I like to do at the end of all my videos to give you an opportunity to say something out loud. Let it be heard. This opportunity is all about receiving the real victory in life, which is eventually ending up in eternity with the most high God. I'm not forcing you to do this, 
but the time is now. Repeat after me. I believe Jesus is the Son of God. I believe he died for my sins. I believe he rose from the grave and is now in heaven with our heavenly father. And I want him to be Lord of my life. Now, if you just repeated those words, that was the best decision that you ever made. That's a fact. Please keep that energy. The most high God, he heard you. He's watching like always. The angels in heaven, they having a big party up there. They up there turned out right now. You understand me? It's lit up there. Keep that same energy. The devil heard you. He always listening too. But remember, you do not have a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. All you got to do is depend on God with your heart, your mind, and your soul. We talked about that. Do this every day. You got gifts and talents. You have to continue to use your gifts and talents. Serving people. Stay on your purpose. Stay focused on your mission here, right? Because you're here for a reason. Allow God to help you. And also, you have to, we talked about it, slice and dice. You got to meditate in these scriptures every day, y'all. Feed that Holy Spirit for we want that to overflow. It keeps you in alignment with God's will for your life. All right? So I'm so proud of you, man. Be proud of yourself and know that you're going to get the victory. Say it out loud. Say it right now. Say it proud. I am going to get the victory. Yes, sir. Indeed. Three more things that I like to leave Slice and Dice Gang with. So can y'all all bring it in for me real quick? Everybody bring it on in. I said, oh, 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 oh. I'm going to need y'all to have a nice, oh, a nice. I'm going to need y'all to have a blessed. But as far as your blessings, have you asked God for them? I do it every day. I do it every day. Ask God for all the blessings that he got for you today you waiting on he wants you to receive them cardo do i do that's a fact so it's only right you do you understand me and i got just one more thing for you and that's to have a b e a you Y'all like that I said for You understand me? Yes, sir, man. Peace out. God bless. And please continue to be in this truth. Continuing to ask for discernment. Continuing to pray without ceasing. Because y'all, it's a lot of false prophets out here. And you do not need to be led astray. And we don't want other people out here being led astray neither. All right? Yes, sir. So please, y'all, everybody continue slicing and dicing with these scriptures. No lacking. Continue using your gifts and talents. Continue to pray for yourself. Not just for yourself. Pray for your brothers and sisters out here. Prayer works. And also, y'all know how we do. Let's continue to bring more people to the kingdom. I'm out of here.